Detective Myers, the Antarctic Police Department. I solve mysteries to keep you safe. This is my biggest case yet, and I think I know who the perp is. Climate change. Climate change has caused numerous crimes, such as the melting glaciers, which caused the rising seas. That is a problem to us and to the animals of the Arctic, such as the polar bears, the penguins, the cute baby seals, and the whales. I am going to solve this for you. Detective Myers out. Hi Myers, this is our mobility expert. Um, oh, it closed. Yeah, there it is. Here's our team researcher and our head researcher behind me. Oh, hello, this is head researcher Daniels. I would like to say that we've done an impressive amount of work on the impact on animals. Really? <gasps> Not again. Um, sir, we found another polar bear cannibalism attack, and also we found one dying of starvation. We should bring it back to you, shouldn't we? Uh, yes. Now, speaking of polar bears, uh, their situation is quite desperate. With melting glaciers, they're running out of food and resorting to cannibalism, which declines their population, and a lot of them, if they can't do cannibalism, they die of starvation. It's a very big problem. Speaking of problems, our correspondent from the Maldives will soon get back to you on their problems. Hello there. This is the new episode of my brand new show. I'm Susie Sandberg for Polar Problems. I'm going to be listing some of the problems in our South and North Poles. And the first episode is about the Maldives and the Martin Glaciers. Well, here are just some facts about it. 80% of the Maldives are about one meter above the sea level. Only one meter and the highest point in the entire Maldives is 2.4 meters above the sea level. Now the Maldives is rumored to be underwater in no less than 30 years. Book those vacations quick people and the reason for it being underwater is for melting glaciers and the rising sea. Now, the Maldives is targeted because it is the flattest country on Earth. And if rising seas weren't big enough of a problem, they also don't have much fresh water. See, they drink from the groundwater, and if salt goes, salt water from the sea goes onto the ground, then there's salt in their groundwater, and they can't drink from it. And the sea level has been rising at 0.07 inches per year since 1950 so that's quite a lot and the pace is still accelerating and again um, there is another reason for this it is caused by factories pumping emissions which are warming and expanding the sea level but mostly the causes shrinking and melting glaciers I am Susie Sandberg reporting for polar problems. Now, do any of you have any questions? Uh, one of our callers has just asked, could you tell me a little bit about glaciers? I'd love to. And now our first question and our first answer, what the heck are glaciers? For those of you who don't know, I will explain. Glaciers are like large land masses of ice. And they're very important because they provide homes to those arctic creatures and they provide us with 68.7% of our fresh water. That's a lot of fresh water. And now to answer all your further questions, Dr. Guggenheim. Hello there, I'm Dr. Guggenheim, researcher of glaciers. I'm here to inform you all about your further questions on these glaciers, such as, how do they form? Glaciers form in places where more snow piles up each year than it melts. Soon after falling, they compress or, you know, become tightly packed. It slowly changes from light fluffy crystals to hard, round ice pellets, 
When more snow pours on top, it becomes more compacted and becomes grainy. It's called fernification. Layers of fern fall on top of one another and they are about f roughly 50 meters thick. And the ferns form into a giant block of gigantic solid ice. The first glaciers formed about 34 million years ago in Antarctica. About 20 million years ago, the temperature dropped about 8 degrees. Scientists think this was triggered by a formation of the Himalayas, which triggered a greenhouse effect when CO2 was pulled out of the atmosphere. The ice froze to rock and it, was, and it formed the southern ice sheet. The Antarctic and Greenland glaciers only formed about 3.2 million years ago. The Arctic has no land underneath it, only water. Over the Earth's geological history, ice sheets have formed and retreated over and over again. These are called glaciers and interglacial periods. About 12,000 years ago, the ice retreated enough for humans to move further into the northern hemisphere and start to colonise it. Now, here's a little bit about the two types of glaciers. Glaciers come in many sizes and shapes, but there are two basic types of glaciers. These are ice sheet glaciers and alpine glaciers. Alpine glaciers are mountain-based glaciers which slowly move down the mountainside, while ice sheet glaciers are more of a widespread one without mountains or stuff in their path. They just go down. And with that, those are the two types of glaciers. Back to you, Myers. <sighs> I've been standing here so long that I got frostbite. Now, you can help save the glaciers and play your part by turning off the lights when you're not in the room, running bath water for less time, and turning down your thermostat. Thank you, fellow citizens. Oh.